Hi friends, in this video we will see about the number object. So the new things added in the number object we will see. So as you already know, uh, so let's see one example. So I have for example, I have one number. Uh, for example, what we can say 10. Okay. So previously we have is nan. Is nan of this number okay if i check this is nan of number i am getting it as false why because it is it is a number so if i convert it into string so let's check if it is nan or not then it is also false so if it if i want to check nan here then i will get it as true so previously in the es5 and all those things so you have you have a global function something like this is nan now you can also use this one using number dot as an object okay in the es6 so now if you get you will also get it true why this one also is there means so these all instead of available as a global methods and all those things they have grouped into a object it's the number object they have grouped all those things into a object so that all those things if you type in the id or anywhere in number dot something like that you will be able to find all the methods available for the number thing and also another one what we can say is we have another thing uh, called as is finite okay so whether we need to check whether it is an infinite or not for example i have a very big number something like this so, so if i try to get here i am getting it is true that means it is not an infinity number okay there is, this is also one of the method so in the s6 so which which we can say that the, the number is infinite or not for example if i want to check infinity okay if i check this one as an infinity if i try to run this one i will get it as false it is not a finite so if you want to check reverse thing you can check with the vice versa something like this okay so you can check like this also and another one what we can say is there is also another method introduced in the uh, number object that is nothing but is is integer okay if i try to run this one i am getting it as true okay now why i am getting it as true i will remove this exclamatory thing if i try to run so i am getting it as false so infinity is not an integer so now if i try to add 10 10 if i try to run here i am getting it as true so that means 10 is an integer now i will try to do some 10.12 something like this floating point i will do so if i try to run here I am getting it as false so that means 10.12 is not an integer it is a floating point number so in this way you can find out whether the number given number is a floating float number or not whether it is an integer or not using this using this method you can find it so this will be very useful to find out whether the number is an integer or not these things uh, is this this one will be very useful normally as javascript is not a strongly typed language so we cannot uh, I have the data type something like that so this one by using this one we can say that it is an integer or not we can say okay these are some of the methods which are present for the number object in es6 if you find to uh, as i already told you if you find if you want to need more methods and all those things you can go to the mozilla developer network in the number object you can find it more options okay if you have any doubts or any suggestions in this video please post a comment to below below this video and also if you like this video don't forget to subscribe my channel thank you